there's no rhyme or reason to do something like this. Right now at 6, a woman said she was robbed in Boardman. Today, police say she lied to them, to us, and that she lied to you. Well, the story fell apart today for that woman who said she was robbed yesterday. She said $400 was taken from her after she had withdrawn it from an ATM. Again, that story fell apart as police looked at evidence. I was following the investigation and even talked with her again about why she did it. Kimberly Armstrong walked out of the Boardman Police Station after having a tough talk with investigators. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. She was charged with making false alarms and obstructing official business for making up the story about being robbed yesterday outside a Boardman convenience store. Police say once they got access to security camera footage, the story started to fall apart. So the video footage was pretty clear in showing that um, she did not take any money out of the ATM. Um, and then it was also that you know, she had done some things as, as far as rolling on the ground a little bit, putting some dirt on her thing. So. Boardman's police chief says the entire day turn responded to the scene yesterday because of the serious nature of the report of an attack and that the person may still be loose. But this, to me, is very, very serious because you're, you know, you're making an accusation of somebody who was involved in a violent crime um, and then fled on foot. And you know, our concern is obviously that person's now going two blocks and going to do it again. Chief Worth felt the police response was appropriate and was proud of the investigative work which followed to figure out it was false. Armstrong's dishonesty had faked a lot of people. Desperation. I have no excuse. Um, for what I did. Kimberly Armstrong will be in court Tuesday to hear the charges read against her. Police would like to talk with anyone who might have made a donation to her after hearing her story.